How's it going everybody? Zab here. Welcome to another how-to video. Specifically, this is going to be a line build, which I know a lot of people have suggested. Specifically, I usually get suggested those team builds, uh, which I really wanted to do. I wanted to do some really effective, cool ones as far as, you know, I don't know, the speedster line, stuff like that. You know, some more affordable ones or some you know, just fun ones like the goon line or people with the funniest names or the craziest hair. I don't know. You know some of those fun team builds. Uh, but the, the matter of the fact is that it kind of gets a little bit expensive depending on what team build you want to go for and that's kind of the main reason that I haven't done any of these in NHL 14 and or 15 just because if I have 100k in the bank I'm going to want to buy a stud of a first or second liner instead of spending it all on a team with guys that have mustaches you know what I mean so I just haven't done this all that often if at all and uh, this is going to be my first so let's see how it goes this is going to be like I said a line build not a team build uh, this is a line that I use for for the most part, in a variation, one of my players is actually on my first line, but I'm just going to show you him on a line with two players that I used to use on there. I, all these games that I played with these fellas have been in Division 1, so don't worry if you're in Division 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, whatever, it's going to work for you. I understand, you know, some people might be in Division 4 and they're like, ah, this goaltender's amazing, but then once you step it up, or player, rather, and then you step it up to Division 1 and they just suck because the competition is so much harder, you don't have to worry about that. I've, I've been in Division 1 the whole entire game, basically the first couple weeks I got my way up to division one and I've been there ever since so uh, these players are absolutely outstanding I've played some of the best players in the game in division one that is and uh, these guys just once you have them on a line other team doesn't stand a chance so this line is going to equal to about 200 to 250k so it isn't the cheapest in the whole wide world but it is relatively affordable uh, it's not too out of the spectrum and my first line is a little unrealistic for a lot of people I'd say for the majority of hut players so that's why they're not in this line build right now but later down the road if I want to do like an insane line build you know I'll have 96 Ovechkin 98 Crosby all that good stuff but for right now I'm not going to put them in there we're going to focus on the second line like I said one of these players is actually on my first line and uh, when I actually play hut games Taylor Hall's on my second but you're gonna see how everything plays out so let's go ahead and start off with our left winger he's gonna be technically a right winger so if you want to look him up look up right wing sniper USA you're gonna know exactly who it is off of that uh, now if you can buy him on the left wing already buy him if not switch him to left wing and I'm gonna get it I'm gonna explain in just a quick second obviously you know who it is it's don't eat the Phil cookies Phil Kessel uh, 90 overall left wing sniper 90 for the skating 91 for the shot 92 for the hands 82 for the checking and 83 for the defense now I need to remind myself right now by saying this but I want to show you guys his actual actual stats because they are impressive and I'll show you what I mean in a sec so I'm not really going to talk about his skating or shot or everything like that we're just going to go ahead and let you know he's super fast and has one of the best wrist shots in the game that's all you need to know for now and then we're going to get a little more in depth later in the video our center is going to be a perfect two-way forward when it comes to my lines as you see with Ovechkin Crosby and Hall which Hall is not really Hall it's going to be another player um, but with this line I usually like to have two guys that can snipe the puck that are fast and have a crazy wrist shot and that's going to be Ovechkin and Taylor Hall but my main player that I have there and then usually at center I like to have more of a defensive guy you know he may not be the fastest may not have the best wrist shot in the whole wide world but he's, he's defensive and he wins faceoffs. that's exactly what Crosby is and that's exactly what this guy is right here I've used him multiple times he's going to be a 91 overall center two-way forward playing for the Boston Bruins it's going to be Patrice Bergeron like I said uh, a perfect two-way forward he's going to jump back play a little bit of D uh, his stats are not very impressive 88 87 88 84 and then 91 is nice but other than that 91 uh, you know not the most flashy card out there so I don't think a lot of people would be like oh this is the guy I want to get this is a perfect first line center uh, they're going to go after those guys that you know have the higher overalls or the higher categories as far as the skating and the shot but let me just tell you this guy has the most underrated uh, stats I've ever seen in the game he is I'd say the 88 pretty much nails him on the head as far as speed. He's probably more along the lines of an 89. Uh, his shot seems over a 90, probably like a 92 for wrist shot accuracy. Like, it's really good and really hard. Uh, great hands. Checking, they nail that. It's about average, 85 or so, somewhere around there. And his defense, he plays like a 96. He plays better defense than Crosby, I think, most of the time. And Crosby has an assistant captain card, and he's a hot live. And I think that Bergeron plays a lot better D than Crosby and I believe he has a 95 for the face-offs as well so he's going to win you every single face-off that you take for the most part if you know how to win a face-off he's absolutely nuts in that face-off circle and like I said I like to have those two-way forwards or those defensive minded forwards on that line there on that uh, that, that that center position and uh, 
Kessel and Bergeron work absolutely amazing together. And then go ahead and add this right winger to the lineup, and you absolutely have a deadly combination. He is going to be my actual first line right winger. And you guys are probably going to know who this is if you've seen any of my Hockey Ultimate Team updates within the past. I don't even know how many months. I've had him forever now. But he's going to be technically a center, I believe, for the Colorado Avalanche. It's going to be the doucher, Matt Duchesne, a 92 overall with the captain card. I do suggest to put that on him. But without, he's just a 90 overall. Uh, so 94 for the skating, 91 for the shot, 92 for the hands, 86 for the checking, and 87 for the defense. If you want to get his true stats, just take all those stats and subtract two. Uh, as far as price goes, Kessel's going to be around that 50 to 55k mark. Uh, Bergeron's going to be right around the same 50 to 55k, and Duchesne's going to be about 120, 130k. His price usually stays right around that place. Uh, Bergeron's price stays right around there. Kessel's price, however, I notice does rise and drop uh, pretty often. So, you know, when the time this video comes out, he may be 70k, he may be 30k. You just never know with Phil Kessel. His price is, is bipolar for sure. So like I said, this is one of the best lines I've ever used. Duchesne is technically on my first line and I have Hall on my second line right now because Duchesne is just way too good to waste on the second line. Um, if you have used Duchesne in the past, and say you don't like him for whatever reason, say you're just a psychotic guy, you don't like Duchesne, get uh, Taylor Hall. I find he plays a lot like Duchesne. He's really good. He's just a little bit, I don't want to say worse, because that is not the word to use. I'll just say Duchesne's a little bit better, and uh, goes for right around the same, if not a little cheaper as well. So definitely, you want to pick up Matt Duchesne, but... There it is, Duchesne Bergeron Kessel, 200 to 250k line build, and it is going to be the best that you've ever used, I hope. If you have used this line or any of these players, whether it be Kessel, Bergeron, Bergeron excuse me, and or Duchesne, let me know how they performed for you. Very interested in that in the comment section down below. Also, like I did remind myself, I said I was going to do it. Thank God I remembered. I want to look at the individual, the real individual stats. And for people that don't know this, let me go ahead and do a little bit of a tutorial. I might do an actual full-length video on this just because a lot of people don't know this. You know, more of those in-depth guys that have played Hut for a long time know about this. It's a no-brainer for them. But uh, for those guys that haven't played a lot of Hut, you're probably not even going to know this exists. But if you go into rosters, then you go into team rosters, all right? Then you go to view rosters. You can look at all the players in the NHL, and you can look at their stats every single stat they have. So for example, I wanted to look at Phil Kessel, but first we're going to look at Alexander Ovechkin's card, which is a 93, I believe. Where is he? Uh, Ovechkin, a 93 overall player. Looking at his stats, there you go. You got puck skills, shooting, skating, and it breaks it into just tons of categories. So puck skills, uh, I'm not going to remember it once I go look at Kessel, but just kind of take a, uh, a mental screenshot here, a mental picture, 93, 95, 90, 94. Pretty much not, uh, lower 90s to right around those mid-90s mark for the puck skills. Uh, 94 for the slap shot accuracy. His slap shot power is 80, 82, which I kind of find silly. He has a relatively hard slap shot, uh, pretty good one-timer. So that's a little silly there. But uh, 94, again, kind of the same. Same, same thing, just about mid-90s in the shot uh, department. Skating, 90 for the speed. Just kind of take that into consideration. And now we're going to go ahead and look at a guy like Phil Kessel, who goes for so much cheaper. Ovechkin's going to go for right around a mil for his normal card. Like I said uh, earlier, the uh, Phil Kessel's going to run you about 50K. And looking at his stats, if we can find him, where is he? Mr. Don't Eat the Phil Cookies. There he is. Looking at his stats, look at how comparable those are. Uh, if you remember the puck skills, Ovechkin, I think, had 94 for deking and uh, Phil Kessel is 93 and I believe that Phil Kessel or uh, Alexander Ovechkin was right around those mid 90s 92 92 92 93 for the puck skills that's pretty damn close and for that big of a range or a gap I should say in price that's pretty pretty impressive right there the shot Ovechkin was mid 90s that's just about the same for Phil Kessel he's more along the low 90s but still all 90s uh remember and this is kind of weird you remember that Ovechkin's slap shot power was like an 82 or an 83 uh Phil Kessel's a 92 so that's actually better 91 for the slap shot accuracy 93 for the wrist shot accuracy and a 90 for the wrist shot power remember Ovechkin's speed of 90 I believe it was well Phil Kessel's speed 93 92 acceleration 92 agility 92 offensive of awareness which is huge and uh, not a very defensive or physical guy 
but those offensive stats are seriously impressive. Uh, they really, really, really compare with a guy like Alexander Ovechkin, and that's why Phil Kessel is one of my favorite players in the whole wide world, and I'm sorry this video is going on kind of long. I just like looking at these stats. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Duchesne really quick because his are pretty impressive as well. 90, 90, 90, 90, 89, 90, 90, 87, just about the 90s everywhere. Um, 95 for speed, which is his most impressive category. He is a rocket in a half. But uh, just one of the best players I've ever used there. All those players are some of the best players I've ever used. So make sure to pick them up. Again, 200 to 250K if you have any suggestions, any, 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 any suggestions for line builds, team builds, what have you. Let me know in the comment section down below. Is it a mustache line? Is it a tough guy line? Is it a free agent line? Is it a fast line? Is it a this line or that line? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see. And I will definitely bring that guys to you. Let me know what you thought of this video. And if you want more of it, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe for much, much more. Guys, as always, I'm Zab, and I'll see you next time. Pull my heart out of my chest. Train my mind so I forget. Sing